Gracie was born two weeks early. The doctor indicated there might be some concerns for Down syndrome, and after further testing, um, diagnosed her with Down syndrome at 11 weeks. Because of her diagnosis of Down syndrome, she was considered a high risk to be born with a congenital heart defect. So at 15 weeks, we saw a cardiologist who informed us that she had a severe hole in her heart that would likely need surgery at birth. The first step, and I guess uh, in, in researching that, that we perform, as I think anybody does nowadays, is we went online and we began to go ahead and, and figure out which were the top, uh, the top pediatric cardiovascular programs in the country. Certain names continue to pop up. Um, and in Florida, there's one name that continues to pop up, and, and that's Redmond Burke. Hi, my name is Redmond Burke. I'm the Chief of Pediatric Cardiac Surgery at Miami Children's Hospital. When you're talking with different doctors in this case, you know you're handing your child's life over to them. And if we were going to pick a doctor to entrust Grace's life to, um, he would be the one. Uh, the day of Grace's surgery, I, as you expect, was a wreck. Um, you know, you're fearful. You're, you're giving your child over to, a, to surgery that is, will ultimately save her life, but it's a scary thing to go through. The surgery was successful. Grace um, did really, really well. I was shocked. She went in for open heart surgery on Tuesday morning, and by Friday afternoon, they were asking if we were ready to go home. And it's amazing that a, a baby that was so sick coming in who couldn't eat more than two ounces at a time can leave eating four or five ounces and ready to go home from open heart surgery in less than five days. It exceeded our expectations. And, and it wasn't just the treatment of Grace, it was the treatment of the whole family. Um, and I know uh, from, from a previous experience we had at a different hospital that claimed to be family-centered, um, coming here was a much different experience. She's doing great now. She is walking and, and trying to talk and babbling and playing with her brother. And now she's got a lifetime ahead of her where she has, you know, the world in her hands and, you know, what, what she can accomplish, you know, is going to be amazing. One of the things that, that hit us after receiving the care we did uh, down here was um, those resources weren't re really available in the Palm Beach County area at the same level. The MCH has recently opened the Nicholas Center and Legacy Place in Palm Beach Gardens. Uh, they're now staffing it with a cardiologist who had started up over the summer. Uh, and so we've been in conversations with him and, and with MCH Foundation about figuring out ways that we might be able to help bring the services that exist here in Miami up north into the Palm Beach County area. And um, our experience dealing with the foundation has been absolutely wonderful. When we chose Miami Children's though, we, we believe we've chose we chose the absolute right place for not only our family, but for others. And um, one of the things we want to do is, is share some of that information with other families that might have children like Grace. And we're hopeful that we might be able to continue to spread that word up in Northern Palm Beach County. 